the mysterious deep sea has confounded scientists for centuries. I started out looking at deep sea fish. I dragged the nets behind ships and hauled them up to the surface and tried to figure out what was going on down there. I realized after a while that there must be more going on than, than I could tell just from dragging nets. So Bruce Robeson of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute started hunting the missing pieces using submersibles. My picture of that deep sea community changed radically. What Robeson found helped reveal the astonishing ecological role of jellyfish. Some jellies are predators, others are grazers. Some are tiny, some are longer than a blue whale. But altogether, they make up a staggering one-third of the ocean's biomass. We just missed it. When all we were doing was dragging nets, we had no idea that they were that abundant or that important. But jellies won't be missed for long. Robeson has been counting them. In deep water, we use our remotely operated vehicles with their high-definition video cameras. By Robeson's initial count, jellies appear to be multiplying with amazing speed, and he thinks humans may be responsible. My guess is that if global warming continues and we continue to remove commercially valuable species from the ocean, and if, if the, the pH of the ocean continues to drop, then we will continue to see an increase in the numbers of gelatinous animals. Humans are removing so many fish from the ocean that jellies are facing a lot less competition, and they can react fast in a changing environment. It takes a lot of energy to build and fuel a complex animal like a fish or a crustacean. It takes less energy to run a jelly because they're not as complicated. They're not nearly as demanding of energy they can reproduce and grow very rapidly. So if the water is full of squishy stingers next summer, it may be because the ocean is changing fast. And we can only wonder at, at this stage what happens next as a result of those changes. But there's no getting around the fact that big changes have taken place and indeed are continuing to take place. It's not the same ocean that it was a generation before us. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.